I need to like this ring light is uh, hello and welcome to part one of this whole video the rest of the parts will follow when the stuff actually arrives as of now half of my order with Jackson have arrived so we're going to start by looking at that the reason why I decided to split my order was that I wanted to to save money on custom fee. I don't think it would actually have mattered in the end. First up, I got three new pigments that I want to try out, which is also why I really want to film this so I can start actually making paint out of them. Uh, they are all Jackson branded. Uh, we have Permanent Red, that is PR170. Then I have Asa Yellow, which is PR144. It's a little bit more orange than the permanent red. PY154. So yeah, I'm going to learn how to pronounce names <laughs> and I'm also going to make up uh, some samples with these and see how they are. Um, I got a new uh, KD sketchbook. Yeah, 21 by, 21 by 25, 210 GSM 20 sheets. And it is the Snoop paper. I think I actually have, I've gone through quite a few of these. This is a rough paper. And I mean, it just looks like, I really like these sketchbooks. The thing is like the binding is not, like it doesn't really, I have a lot of loose papers in here, but I'm like, I don't really, I don't really care. I don't take this one out. Um, with me in that way I just really wanted to just to enjoy the paper of it so I'm, I'm not really that bothered uh this one I have done a lot of like just color swatches for photography product photography um so I don't have like nice work in here but yeah I just I've really enjoyed this uh, sketchbook and I, I'm not really a fan of smooth paper but I was like I would really like to try it. Let's see. I ordered some watercolors. I don't know. And these are all Schmincke Horodam. And we there is a, a little bit of a color theme. We are continuing on with the sort of yellow, orange, red family here. We have uh, Rutil Yellow, which is PY53. Uh, then I actually got a Chromium Orange, which is PO64. And I just got these small ones. I just, it's more for the pigment. Um, I'm very rarely looking for opaque, warm colors in my palette. Uh, but I really want to try their pigments. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get just like the small ones. But then this one, I don't think this one came in a small size. Oh, like when I saw that Schmincke had like a retro collection, I was like, oh, that is sucking me in. But after having a really serious talk with myself and ordered way too much, um, I decided what I really wanted was to try out the Cochineal Red. That's that's what really had me. So um, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for weird pigments and this is just, like it doesn't even have a pigment index number because it's uh, NR41 and I'm just, oh, that is, I think it's so fun that they have brought it back. Um, I'm realizing it's a very, uh, people who feel strongly about vegan art supplies obviously won't get this, but I just find like, it's so fun to be able to use the same pigment as people used before. Uh, I'm not sure if I will actually use it like in paintings, but I just like there's something weird about just having it. So um, I, don't know, I don't know. It's so weird. Like some stuff, I feel like I'm just I'm I'm just happy owning. Which is like, why would you be happy owning things? But anyway, uh, I think this is one of those things. I ordered oil pastel and soft pastel. 
I have an order from Penn Store and I ordered some more oil pastels from there too. I don't know what's happening, but I really like oil pastels these days. So uh, I'm just adding more to my collection. And this is moss green. And I got yellow lake. And this one was a little bit of a surprise. It's green, yellow, light. Um, that's, um, that was not really how I imagined the swatch on the computer screen, but that's, that's how it is when you order online. Um, Soft Pastels by Jackson. I did order more, but they have not arrived. So again, May green. And if you look at the one from Sennelia, they're pretty similar. So anyway, so these are the four colors I got from Jackson. So we have the May green and then light green ochre, uh, powder lime blue. And this is fluorescent, no, light orange, but it's almost fluorescent. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like I said, my first order have not arrived yet. So we're waiting for that. I'm also waiting for an order on Craftelier. I don't say, I don't want to say that I panicked the other day, but yeah, I just like thinking about it now. It's so silly, but, um, I feel like my, um, reasoning it's not as good as it was before. I'm going to blame this on my meds. Uh, I'm recently starting a big course of cortisone steroids, which um, has definitely changed my thinking and also my sleep pattern in that there's very much less of it. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to blame this uh, pen store haul uh, on being sleep deprived and not thinking straight. Yeah, uh, it's actually not as bad as it could have been because they had like this huge banner on the website saying there was a sale and I was like, okay, no, you're just allowed to get what you actually came here to. And I only bought a few extra things. So I came there for a small little book. Um, this is the one I'm using right now. And I have three or four pages left. And this is my, this is not really a sketchbook. It's more like a common, I don't know, like a, a, almost like a journal, but for everything. Uh, so there are sketches in here, definitely. Um, but most of it is just not even journaling. I'm not very good at writing stuff, but it's doodles and I oh, use a light blue pen, good. Um, like if I have something, I'm just like a brain dumping and um, how I'm feeling. So it's a lot of like writing down, like if I'm tired, where the pain is, uh, my temperature, uh, because I'm pretty much always have a fever, um, sleeping and, and that kind of stuff. So it's not like, a, it's not a fun book. It's mostly like how I am doing. This is a little sketch I did. I'm really trying to work on my portrait skills and can definitely do with a lot more work. But you won't get that if you don't practice. So I'm thinking like that. Um, so yeah, it's just pretty much um, lists and uh, stats about me, really. I have this in my with me like all the time. Uh, when I get ideas, when I need to remember stuff, uh, writing lists, everything because I'm here. That's a long way of saying that. Uh, so I just needed a new one and I thought I was going to try the 9 by 14. Uh, I also picked up uh, a yellow one again because when I did my order with Creftelier I ordered several of the art creation sketchbooks. Why did I order a new one? Like another one, I don't need this format. Because, like I already have one. Like, uh, and I haven't finished this one because I'm not a big fan of, of the format. I have like is like I like the, I really like the papers. So it's not that. It just, um, I don't know. I don't. 
yeah anyway so this one is I have like less than a fourth left of it um so I guess I'll uh the A4s I really really like however I have two of those in the go and I work in both at the same time so usually when I'm working I have one drying and just switching that up works great uh so maybe I can do that with those two also that and then I got two pencil pen stuff and oil pastels so uh this is the uh pit graphite to be matte and I just really want to try out and see if it's actually matte and then I got a platinum preppy fountain pen I already have one of these and I really like it this one and I was like I was so sure that it came with black ink but that's not black ink. <laughs> but I think it could be fun uh, I do have cartridges that are black for my other one that I use so it's just so I can have another one these are really really inexpensive um, and I have another fountain pen that I really like, but this one is a lot more expensive. So I don't want to have it in my bag. And then I was like, like I didn't order a metallic blue, but I did order transparent blue. And apparently that's what they're calling this. So, okay, um, let's do some swatching. <laughs> and I'll be back when uh, when the next packages arrive. Okay, so it's been about a week <laughs> and I have received the second part to my Jackson haul. So just to recap, um, last part of the order was the Sennelier oil stick. Yes, oil pastel. Uh, four of these Jackson soft pastels. We had some watercolor, three different pigments, and a caddy sketchbook. Here is the uh, the Cochinelle Red by Schminke. I also swatched it out on some nice Fabriana paper. And I'm going to save that uh, just to get like a you know it looks different on different papers, right? And I'm just. Like I said, I'm not sure 
if I will use it, but I have, still have them in my little palette here. They're three new colors and it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I think the, the pigment nerd is really happy right now. So, um, yeah, the second part of this order. Let's do some flipping. Uh, I'm just going to show like a swatch. I'm not going to do like this, you know, this pretty. <laughs> I don't know if that's pretty. Uh, I'm so shaky in my hands right now. So uh, I will probably just need some warming up. We'll see. Have This is a total mistake on my part. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Uh, so just a really short, flat brush. Um, it wasn't really what I expected. But like I said, my bad. Uh, I will, it will definitely come in use, but it won't be the use I had planned for. <laughs> Let's say that. I have some more soft pastels. So, oh my gosh, look at these. So pretty. Red oxide. Just look at that. That is really nice. Then I can't resist these fluorescent ones. So, this is the fluorescent red and fluorescent pink. Yeah, they're just, oh, it just makes me so happy just by looking at them, especially this red one. Uh, and then these are lime green white. And I just really love this color. You'll see more of that color. <laughs> uh, we have light terracotta. And I sort of, um, it looks very much like the um, burnt ochre in the polychromos. Just a little bit deeper than yellow ochre. And this is vermilion. That is just, that is so rich. It's a really fun um, palette, I think, even though I've, Obviously plan to use them with all the others, but also with these, I think it could be really fun. Don't blow on your pastels, Julia. So, uh, next thing is these acrylic paint markers that you can refill yourself. So I got two sets of three. Let's <laughs> check this out. Uh, I got 15 millimeters and then I got three of two millimeters so these are big but I do have quite a lot of well I think I have quite a lot of acrylic markers but I never have like the one you know the, the color I'm wanting I'm always looking for dirtier colors so my thinking is I can mix my own so yeah now I have one that is the round tip and then with a big chisel tip. So I'm really looking forward to that. I also got some pastel paper. So the uh, paper I ordered are from Hanamu. Oh. Yeah, it is Hanamu and it's Lana Colors pastel papers, A4 single sheet. And I got light blue, rose quartz and ivy. Then we have this where all of the stuff is gathered. So let's put it here. And here we have the stuff. Now, in here, the only thing I've tried before is the Neo Color 2. So I've ordered more of those, uh, but the rest of it is first try sort of thing. So let's start with these. These are the Faber Castell Gold Faber Aqua Jewel Marker. And I've seen quite a lot about them and I was like, ah. And I was looking at different sets and I was like, there's no point in you buying a set, Julia. You don't know if you'll like them. And they're quite expensive. I mean, I paid 3.29, so almost four euros each. I think that is quite expensive for a watercolor marker. So uh, I looked at the colors and I decided to try out these three. This is 
pine green and it is a really pretty deep green and then green oak <laughs> green ochre which is like a, a rich a rich gold green and then titanium violet light which just looks gray um on the website it definitely looked like had some warmth some purple to it so i'm a bit uh bit annoyed with that actually we can use my new my new little brush okay i don't have any clean water but you know close enough i think on on proper watercolor paper it will look it will look fine Uh, obviously you will get some um, like the lines are still here because of the of the paper I'm using but yeah so we have that then we I ordered five of the Karen Dash pastel pencils do we sense a theme here I have tried Derwent pastel pencils and we we did not really get along very well so I've actually like given those away that was many years ago um but i'm i'm sort of missing <laughs> i miss what i thought i could do with them so i wanted to try the karen dash i have been using the uh, luminance pencils and i just love them so much so i'm like okay i'm going to give these a try and i got the dark phthalo green uh, i mean this one is it's almost black that is so dark. This one is Naples Ochre. Then we have Herculaneum Red. This is one I'm using a lot uh, in the in the luminance set. I think it's a really nice, like flushy color. And then uh, Green Earth, look at that, like these two, so nice, mm, I like that. Uh, and then a white, um, and yeah, I'm not, anyway, I want to, oh my god, the dogs, sorry. Uh, so this is the Karen Dash Pastel. And I just want to see how it compares to the Derwent Drawing Chinese White. Hmm. Yeah. So I think there will be a different type of use. Obviously it won't go over like white white. But I feel like this one goes over better. Like it's actually gripping a bit. Yeah, there you can see a clear difference. Okay, nice. Neo color two. I have a little. Of course, I can't get it out now, can I? So, oh, in here I have my Neo color two. They're a bit short because I have broken them and put uh, in a tin that I have elsewhere. I also have my Derwent ink stick. I've done the same, broken them. And then when my watercolor pencils reach a certain length, they, it's better to have them in here so I can actually see them. Uh, also just a clear wax crayon. Uh, so I just wanted to sort of expand uh, the colors I have there because uh, I got all of the Neo Color ones like in, in the big set. But the Neo Colors too, I was like, I don't know if I would like them, so I have just uh, slowly added more. Uh, first one, we have a casualty here. It's a pre <laughs> pre broken. Uh, we have a carmine, so a very nice pinky red, and the red I had before was a ruby red, and then. I ordered vermilion so now I feel like I have like a good selection of three like a red red and then this carmine there is more blue red and then this one it's I mean compared to the vermilion in the pastel 
which is, I think that one is more red, this one is more orange, but it's good. Uh, also just a uh, uh, light blue. I always, like, blue is one of the first colors I typically buy, but I, I prefer, you know, the ultramarine, the indigo, like the, the dark ones. So I'm always standing there like, oh, you want to do stuff outside with a nice pretty blue sky? Yeah, it's going to be night. We're going to do a night scene. <laughs> so now I can do a day scene when we have blue skies, which we actually do have today. Uh, speaking of red-ish, English red. Right. And the other one that I had before that is sort of the same is Sanguine. So now I have one that is a little bit darker, which is nice. And then I also had this one before, which is a Toledo Brown. Oh, and the blues I had was uh, Royal Blue, which is lovely. And then I had Blue. And sapphire blue. So yeah, <laughs> the blues I get, the blues I need. Anyway, uh, I got the apricot, and then I got a green, uh, green, gray. And then I really was interested in this beige. Looking at the swatches online, it looked like a beige. On here it looks like a warm grey, so I thought it was going to be a lot more, I thought it was going to be a bit more like, mm, a bit more like this maybe. Yeah, I think that's more what I was uh, thinking it was going to be, a bit warmer. That's sort of my, um, what I expected it based on the swatches I saw. But that's always the thing with swatches online. Um, and um, yeah, I think, I think next time I uh, want to do some big art shopping, it might be worth trying to see if I can find a place to look at it before especially now when I have ordered like several things and I'm like that's really not what I expected it to be um, it's I mean it's not that far off that I can't use it for what I had intended it it just you know when you open it up and you're like ah, oh, that's not really what I had in mind okay I decided to pick up the chroma flow colors and I'm like, do I really need more color pencils? I, I would say the reason I got them is partly the price. Uh, I just like, I really wanted to see like how good they could be for that price. Uh, and I'm just really curious. And they had such weird colors and I'm a sucker for weird colors. So yeah, should we just, we should just get started, shouldn't we? Um, so. Uh, I was looking at getting a set, but the best deal I could find, like in in Scandinavia, was for the full set. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy a full set, so I decided when I was placing my order at Jackson, I'm going to pick out some colors I'm actually like interested in, and that colors I feel like I don't have or are missing in different other sets, uh, or colors I think I will actually use. So. Let's start off with Parmesan, which is sort of the color of this paper. That's good. I have swatched them all on this paper, so that one is over there. But I can do a new swatch on this white one. So it's a very light color, very light yellow one. Then we have Sun yellow, and I do think yellows can be really tricky, um, and I do actually like it because it's just, 
a neutral bright yellow. Then I got amber gold, which is obviously a, a much warmer, leaning more towards orange, which is, it has almost that quinacridone gold when it's washed out, that sort of vibrancy, and I really like that. Dijon. This one I'm a bit like confused about because I feel like it should be stronger in in its strength, but I think it's just like sort of almost like a desaturated gray yellow, and I really like it. Like yeah, first of all, um, I feel like it's it's almost a little bit washed out. But I feel like this is a color I will use a lot. Um, but yeah, and I do feel like so far they match really well with the ends. I think there was one or two that I was reacting like it did not match well. Um, then we have Melon. It's slightly darker at the end cap, but not that much that I would react to it. That's Scarlet. And just a really nice, I would say this is more like um, a true red than a scarlet. Uh, I know a lot of people compare these to Prismacolor and I don't, I don't think they compare that much but I'm not a big fan of Prismacolor so because I feel like they're really hard to layer so. Hot pink, this is the one that I'm like oh the cap does not. Uh, because I feel like the cap is more like fuchsia than it is. Uh, but I really like this pink. These are a bit more blue leaning and I don't think I have anything that is... Uh, well, I don't have anything with blue in it. Let's do it here. Yeah, I just love this. This one is just like purple, pink, just on that brink and it's it's lovely this color. Uh, obviously has some blue in it but if you um, look past the blue it's lovely. Uh, also slightly difference in the color of the back there. Orchid. I mean look at that. Yeah. This is this is a happy color to me like so vibrant like you this is a color hard to find I really like this one oh so pretty uh, and from that I'm going to go to uh, iris purple one thing uh, from other Derwent pencils these are a bit thinner so I'm like I feel like <laughs> um, I can just feel the difference you know um, yeah, close enough, I would say. Periwinkle. I do think this one should have been having a little bit more red in it to be like a periwinkle, but it's a lovely desaturated bright blue, desaturated light blue, <laughs> not very bright, but I just, I really like this sort of dirty blue color. Um, it matches pretty well. We have a blue orchid. And this one is a lot brighter, more saturated. More of that sort of blue sky kind of blue, but still a little bit on the warmth side. And from that, let's uh, skip the cold blues altogether. No, no, wait. I do have a blue. Deep sea, this one. We have a uh, colder blue. And this one, I don't feel like it's deep sea, yeah, maybe. Or just a plain indigo. Obsidian green. And I like this one in, in contrast to the to the really dark um, 
luminous color that it has a really dark green which is more blue leaning this one is still a bit more like green like forest green and I really like that one uh, turquoise green so bright like punchy in the face bright and then, I'm not really sure what order I'm, I completely messed those two up. Uh, pale Mint. Again, lovely, lovely color. And I love these sort of pastel colors that you still have that coverage in them. And like it would go so well with these colors here. It's different, but it still like works. Yeah. I would say like this one I would have wanted a little bit less uh, yellow in it or a little bit more white. Uh, then foliage and I think this one is such an amazing leaf green. So so like so good. Perfect just everyday uh, nature green as a base. Now, uh, these are like, I would expect more to be like gray colors, but they're like dirty, weird colors. <laughs> so we have a red storm. So we have like a, a pink gray. And I'm like, ah, I love this. Uh, morning mist, which is obviously a gray, but there is something else there to it. Yeah, um, and then last off is Lavender Ash. And again, you have that gray, but with something different in it. Should we compare this one to my other favorite? In the, in the drawing set. I'm thinking Mars Violet. Oh, yeah, it's actually more saturated than both of these. Oh, I like that. I do like the Derwent, even though they have so many different lines of pencils that they still have new colors, that you don't just change your formulation. I do like that. Let's see the pale cedar. I'm thinking here. That's pretty close. But no cigar. How about warm grey? Oh yeah. We have a soloy blue. No, I just think it's pretty. <laughs> there we have a cool grey. Yeah, so it's almost like mixing the cool grey and the warm grey from the drawing set. Hmm. And then you get the mist. Yeah, morning mist. Okay, if I do that. Cool grey. Warm grey. And just a hint of the of the other, the cedar, pale cedar. Okay. Next to I think that's pretty close. Let's see, just to like, because we have more texture on that one, that's not fair, is it? if we can I don't know do you think that's close yeah anyway uh, that's not what we're supposed to do here um, I think what I wanted to get at is that they look like they have like it looks almost like this one is a mix of a lot of different colors but it's just one color Oh, I really like this one okay it's the last day of January and I just received the last uh, order that I that I placed from Craftelier. I have no idea what happened to this box, why it took so long, but it's here now. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, I didn't even get like a notice that I could go and pick it up. I had to like physically track it down. Anyway, so let's start with, I ordered three notebooks. So three notebooks, they're all the same, except this one, which has dotted paper. Now in a, in a kind of a little bit of a panic, I did go to the pen store and I ordered a pink one. Uh, the same size. Oh, but it's a lot thinner. Hmm. Oh, it's 80 GS, um, GSM paper in this one. And this one is the 140. And this one is supposed to be dotted. And I can't get it open because shaky hands. Um, but since I have got the pink one, I have used, yeah, quite a lot of it. So that was, that was good, I suppose, but I did order it. So I have two of these yellow ones now. Let's, I just want to see, they thought it, oh, it's a different kind of cover too. Let's see. So the art creation sketchbooks have these sort of faux leather feeling where this one is more like just a mat um, yeah. so this is what I plan to use just for my everyday kind of sketchbook and my little pink one here that obviously been with me for quite some time is both sort of where I write down everyday kind of stuff but also uh, do some sketching and um, mind mapping, plonking, all the kind of stuff. So it's been working out really well, but I am glad that I have like a, a small one uh, that is more for writing, I suppose. So I got three of these. These are called clear dye envelopes, but so these are just clear envelopes. It has some Velcro. And I'm just thinking it would be nice to store stickers in the shop for these uh, clear so I can easily see through them, but still like some heft. So they all like have some protection. Another less fun thing is just a permanent uh, craft roller, double-sided tape and just refills. Uh, not very fun, but very practical. We have some craft money. <laughs> I got these. Uh, they look very different from how I saw them online because online they look more pastel, like yellow, pink, minty color. Um, but yeah, they're called Six um, Pastel Pencil or Crayon Pastel. Um, and yeah, like I said, it, the colors are not really what I thought they would be, but we, got, we will try them out, obviously. These, however, do look just like I thought they would. Uh, they're oil pastel, but they are fluorescent colors. So these are just for fun. Then I saw this. This was a total uh, impulse stuff, but it's a roller, rubber roller glue for use on paper jumbo size and you're like supposed to be able to like like um a deodorant like you roll it on and i was like i need to try that i got three different type of pencils these are black wing pencils i have never tried them so uh before buying the big set i was like i'm going to just give them a try so we have the orange, white, and black, and it says it's Palomino, Pearl, and Matte. Yeah, sure. I got two of these Dowly Roni graduate uh, um, brushes, and they are the same. It just, one is three quarter of an inch and one is one inch. And these were on some special promotion. And I got another one of these uh, Princeton Catalyst Shapely Silicone stuff. And 
two new of these uh, brush sign pen in ochre and in oh light green. I do really like these and I use the pink and the beige one like all the time. I also looked for uh, a roller's date stamp and it was really hard to find. I just want the date stamp. Um, but like I said, I had a really hard time finding it and in the end I decided to go with this one. It's from Paige Evans by American Craft. I typically don't like them because they have the stuff in the wrong order. Um, and it makes me really annoyed, but I really, I really want one and all the roller stamps that I do have, have run out, like run out of the year. So I decided to go with this one. I did. I do really like this sort of typewriter font, and I think these are really cute too. And I mean, I know what date it is, so yeah. But I do wish I could find a roller date stamp that is just the date stamp, and then in the correct order. Last thing I think actually was the most expensive thing. It's a Pentel Arts pocket brush. Yeah. This one I am handling with with care and a little bit of um I don't know I just I've heard so much about this and yeah I'm just not sure if I have the skills to actually be able to use it but I think that's the thing like to to explore and to try and and do all of that. I think you can do some amazing stuff with this kind of pen. I just I just don't know if I have the steadiness to be able to to use it properly or to get uh nice lines with it. So yeah. But I'm going to give myself the chance. Let's see here. We have Going to get one of these little cartridges out. There we go. Yeah, it says it is pigment ink, so I'm um, making a guess it is permanent. Let's put it in here. There we go. I'm just going to let this be for a bit. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like this one I've been using daily. And I really like it. And I do have the Platinum Albert. So I can change the cartridge to black in this one. Um, but yeah, it, it, I'm really looking forward to see that. Okay, I, I need to do with the dog stuff, sorry. 